Let's learn how to add guides in exact positions in Photoshop in this quick and simple tutorial. So if you're an old school Photoshopper like me, generally what you do when you go to view, bring on your rulers and then you'll simply click and drag guides onto the canvas and try to eyeball it using the guides. Now there's nothing wrong with doing this, but as you know, this can be very tricky, very cumbersome, and it can be very hard to get the guide in the exact position. So let me just command Z to go back. So I'm gonna show you two very simple techniques you can use today to get the guides in the exact position. So for the first one, you need to know your image dimension. So if you quickly go to image, image size, now keep your width and your height or your horizontal and your vertical dimensions in your head. So you can use this when setting the guides. So when you're ready, go to view, guides and new guide. Now from here you can either set this on the vertical which is the height axis or the horizontal which is the width axis. So let's say we want to add a 20 pixel set of guides around the whole document. So I can set my vertical, I can put 20 in there, I'll leave the color as blue, I'm happy with that, and press OK. And there we go, I've added an exact guide. Now if I want to do it from the other side and I can't quite work out the math in my head, that's absolutely fine. If you go to view, guides, new guide and then what you can do then is put in the full width or height of the document so in this case mine's 1080 you obviously want a 20 pixel guide you can put minus 20 and then if you press ok then it will give you the guide coming in from the other side and you can repeat this for the horizontal axis and there's other things I can do with this as well so for example say I want to add a guide to the center I can go to view guides new guide and then say on the vertical axis I can put 1080 again that's the full width of the document and then divided by two press ok and then it adds a guide at the halfway point so using this technique you can add individual guides at exact and specific points without having to drag them on the canvas and eyeball it now the second method I want to show you if I just command Z to get rid of these guides if you go to view guides and new guide layout from here now I can add a guide layout by simply adding the number of columns I want so let's say I want four the number of rows let's say let's put that to three I can also add getter to these or I can leave that as zero if I leave the width or the height as they are they will space automatically to fill the canvas but if I want I can set a specific width so say I want four column guides and I want a width of 100 between each if I set that it will then put that in for me as such and I can play around with these features I can also add margins change the color of the guides as well and I can either use a, a default preset or I can save this preset and then load it whenever I want to use it in Photoshop once I'm happy then I can click OK and I've got my custom guide set up and finally then if I go to guides I can lock the guides then either by using the hotkey or by doing it from the view panel and from there then then I can work on my document so there you have it that's two simple methods you can use to add guides in exact positions in a photo shop document so i really hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching keep on designing and i'll see you for the next tutorial